You're very welcome to Simple Stadium. Simple Stadium is looking absolutely immaculate today in the sunshine here in Turles. It is the Oreen Cup final. Temple Derry out in the field, killing all out on the field in the sunshine here and just loving it. A great atmosphere, a great vibe here in Turles. There's uh, just a great buzz around the place this morning. There was traffic coming all the way in from Kalinan. All the Temple Derry crowd, all the Porus Ali crowd were here for the Oreen Cup final. I'm Stephen Gleeson and I'm delighted to be joined by Ken Hogan for today's game. Ken, isn't this just a fantastic county final day? Uh, great, great day, great day for both teams. Oreen Cup final, a huge game. And uh, Stephen, great to see you in your T-shirt. Hard to believe we're here in the middle of November. And Stephen Gleeson, our commentator, in his t-shirt that's how good the weather is the sun is shining down on top of the teams john dooley we wish him the very best of luck uh, uh first county final for him so really looking forward to a great game between two great strongholds of hurling here killing all and tim derry kenyans yeah from coming up the steps and all the going here ken i feel like i've played a match already this morning <laughs> no bother to you stephen we're ready to go here and underway and straight away it is killing all who have the ball working it out now from defense trying to get an attack here ball fed outside him here now it's just played back into the half back line here at the moment killing all just trying to create an early opening here and try to work that ball in the middle but it's won back now by temple derry they break inside temple derry coming through the middle here they have an advantage the first shot of the game goes the way of temple derry kenyans they have a free in and they'll be delighted with that adrian ryan working hard there ken yeah working hard and as you can see as throughout the campaign Park o'leary goes in at uh, full forward Aina Murray reverts to the wing. Aina Murray, a fantastic hurler throughout his career with Temple Derry. I saw him as an underage player at 10 years of age, top-notch player. Now he's the chance to uh, get the first score in the Green Cup final. So about to strike it here and uh, just waiting on the 45. He's driving this towards the Kalinan end here. Not much of a breeze here, which is uh, ideal for the teams in the sunshine. And straight away, it is a pint of the good for the Kenyans. And they'll be thrilled with that one here. One to the good, lovely score by Aina Murray. Puck out now. Gleeson sends it along over the far side. Good puck out by Jonathan Gleeson. Well held by Owen O'Connell. And he got a shove in the back there into the side of the helmet. It is going to be a free for killing all and a chance for them now to level it up. Yeah, and he tapping the helmet, Stephen. Uh, uh, referees now, the law is there. If you strike the helmet, it's a free straight away. So we could actually hear the tap. It was totally accidental, but it's a great chance now uh, for uh, Kieran O'Dwyer. Uh, to level up matters so ready to go here and uh, just placing that ball i'm gonna look here in the sunshine and uh killing all lining out jonathan gleason killing on the wire paddy cod jack hassett jimmy feehan joe the wire lee mayor tom stake lamone o'connell dean o'connor half forward bubbles center kieran the wire Mark Stakelam, Michael Dial, and Owen Shaw as this one goes all the way in and drifts inside and just drifts out and goes wide there from uh, the half forward and it was worth a go there from Kieran O'Dwyer. Temple Derry ready to get going. They line out with Tom McCutcheon, uh, full back line, Derek Carey, Christy Coughlin, Dale Donnelly, Tom Stapleton, Lee McCutcheon, and Mikey Ryan, and then Oren Murphy, Michael Ryan in midfield. Garraud, the captain at 10, Adrian Ryan, just goes to gather this ball. He's centre forward here. Padraig O'Leary at 12, helping him out there. And uh, the ball has gone. It is going to be a free out for killing all from the half back line. Inside there for Temple Derry in the full forward line, though it is Matthew Hogan, Aina Murray, and Sean Ryan. But it's going to be a free out here for Killing All. Sent high down the field now on the attack. Up goes Mark Stakelam, just knocks it down. Stakelam trying to control it there, but uh, Dara Carey, good cornerback, does well for the Kenyans. Drives it up the field now, up towards Matthew Hogan. Hogan coming out to gather it here. In goes Aina Murray, and Aina Murray has a free in there. And uh, like that's a, a funny one, Ken. It looked like he was falling there, really, but has yeah, the free. He'll be delighted. Fairness, Dana, he missed the ball totally and actually slipped. And the referee, um, obviously, his linesman is there right beside it. But in fairness to Killinall, it definitely wasn't a free. And uh, Aina will thank his lucky stars there. He's just uh, on the 45 meters line at the uh, arena stand side. So we'll see how this goes. So here we go. Nice start for Temple Derry Kenyans here team just battling hard for the last few years and it's gone over the bar and that's a lovely score they're really out in big numbers here today I was talking earlier to Cora Ryan their secretary down there and uh, great buzz and great vibe around the parish this past week as the ball is sent down the field Dale Donnelly the cornerback gathers sends it up here and it's half blocked it is going to be a line ball for Killinall and Killinall 
full of colour all week and uh, I was talking to Owen Kelly there before the match and he said the flags and the bunting and the energy and killing all all week is something else and uh, Owen in here early today waiting to see this game they have a line ball here it's going to be their star forward Bubbles who will strike it here we go John O'Dwyer cuts it inside now breaking ball in there little flick on it and it is gathered now by Owen Shaw Owen Shaw trying to release that ball Treva Monument he gets it out as far as Dean O'Connor and O'Connor points at the town end in Turles the South crowd love it yeah, it's great to get the first score for them. Uh, marvellous sideline ball, dangerous ball was intercepted, but Dean O'Connor showed great calmness and composure on his left hand side to put it over the bar for their first score. Long one sent down the feed now, breaking in front of Adrian Ryan. Oh, fine take by Adrian Ryan, fillets it out as far as the captain, and Garot drives it in, but uh, the ref says it's gone out over the line, and uh, the linesman is up there quickly with the play. It is going to be one for killing all here as uh, Jimmy Feehan thinks about a quick one but decides to leave it and what a player to have in your half back line Jimmy Feehan star for the tip footballers Munster senior medalist in football and uh, excellent hurler as well playing very well and a good uh, under 21 when they did well in the county there when he was a chap shall we say when he was just out of Rockwell College before he went to UCD but this one is cut down the field now all the way up towards Mark Stakelham gathers this now feeds it outside him here now out to O'Connor Dean O'Connor trying to shake off his marker and a foul is committed there by uh, the wing back for Templeberry it is going to be a free in Oren Murphy there just with a high challenge you know when you're playing your first county final like this in a ring cup final you know you're over eager at times and over enthusiastic that was just an over enthusiastic title not malicious in at all this is an important one uh, Stephen now for Kieran O'Dwyer because on the far side he just missed his first three if he can nail this now um it will have restore parity between the teams and uh, i think it's a free-flowing game but we can't emphasize enough uh, the, the beauty of the pitch today it's in absolutely pristine condition kieran o'dwyer now standing over it here on the sacred sod of simple stadium strikes it in between the posts right over the bar at the town end and that's a lovely score we're level in turlets and they've ample experience here ken from playing lockmore here and playing here um during the championship yes and played here last year as well all killing all our, our season campaigners and they know what it's all about to try and win a championship so champions by the way as well don't dismiss that either uh, and that's a philip uh, for them that would have have had a huge given the parish a huge boost and here we are in an arena cup final with a big following across there in, in the new stand all over there in the sunshine just shining in and uh, we're over here in the canan stand uh, in the shade at the moment high up looking down at it here killing all playing from left to right as we're looking at it six on the clock two pints apiece serious sideline by joe dwyer caught in near the 21 breaking ball in there it's won by the kenyans away they go ball sent long down the feed now breaking in front of the half forward line adrian ryan goes to gather and adrian ryan is the one that's doing the foul and the ref says this time and gives a free out yeah, free out and uh, uh, also dissent there, obviously, because the referee is bringing it up and uh, pretty, pretty strict refereeing, no nonsense. So it is going to be another chance for killing all here. No wind, nice calm day here in Turles with the sun shining here. One team going to be crowned champions today. Eager on the sideline, Remy Ryan down there below us on the sideline. Telling the killing all lads, keep this going, lads. We're right in this game. Of course, he's down there with the manager, Kenneth Brown, Niall Odewire, Michael Gleason, and John Healy, the selectors from Killing All. A chance for Kieran Odewire inside his own 65. Looking over at the town end, his shadow and the ball in front of him. Strikes it high, long, sweet. Nice score for Killing All. Yeah, great score for Killing All. I see Christy Coughlin. He's marking uh, bubbles very tightly. They would have played under 21 level together with Tipperary, so uh, know each other's form well. So Christie's sticking like a leech to bubbles. Tom McCutcheon, long puck out down the field, breaking nicely for the green and white, and they're on the attack here, and this shot comes in. It's a long ranger all the way from Oren Murphy, and that's a lovely strike again for Templeberry. Yeah, the break of the ball off the puck out. The puck outs are coming quick and fast. Breaking over the far side of the feed now. Out comes uh, the half forward line to try and gather it for killing all. It's Lee Maher who sends it up along straight up that line. Pulled on first time. Ball just uh, breaks inside nicely for Owen O'Connell coming out to gather, but takes it out over the line. And it is uh, just going to be a line ball there over at the far side of the field. And they'll have another chance here. And 
We're still waiting for Bubbles to just ignite this game. He's gone into full forward. You know, seriously talented hurler in there, waiting inside as uh, Killinall have this ball. Who will probably have to just drop it in on top of him here over the other side. Tipperary just playing with two inside. Garrod operating around the 45 and uh, the full forward just inside at the edge of the square waiting for a long clearance but we'll go back where the sidelines being caught Kieran O'Dwyer drives it in drives it long but drives it wide Kent yeah sideline ball sometimes we're talking about keeping the ball alive you know use the ball when you have it sideline points are a big bonus and that just went over the post wide we're live on tip fm with thanks to Skull Ruan and killing all here and we're live on uh, Tip GAA stream as well. It's the FBD Insurance Championship. We're being beamed worldwide on radio and on stream here today as the ball goes out over the sideline, over the far side there. Oren Murphy coming up to take this one and just getting ready to place that ball. And uh, he'll have a nice chance here. This game really hasn't, you know, really kicked in with a lot of goal chances or anything like that. A lot of sidelines, Ken, in the opening yeah, period. Well, it's, a, it's a big day for both teams. You know, both are a bit tentative, tentative but come the water break we'll expect uh, fireworks sent in now Lowell on the ground now gathered by Hogan inside the corner forward and Matthew Hogan with a sweet turn and a sweet strike over the bar at the Kalinan end for Temple Derry yeah a real corner forwards pint poacher first touch quick turn and over the bar great score 10 points on the clock Temple Derry lead by a single score four playing three at the minute long puck out from killing all from Johnny Gleason sent down here breaking out in front of Mark Stakelham does well Feeds it out to Michael Dial inside, but a good take there by Dara Carey. Dara Carey just roots it away, and it's won back now again by uh, Dean O'Connor. And this effort comes in, but again wide from Killing All. And Tipperary just assumed their angles and their positions. Gone in there in the full forward line. Now it is the key man for them, Sean Ryan inside in the edge of the square. The rest of them pulling out the field. This puck out goes straight out towards Parik O'Leary. Out of his hand and out over the line. It is going to be another line ball. The sun is very strong over there, Ken. For all the people in the stand up, so we can see they have their hand up to their eyes just to uh, so they can see the match that bit yeah, it's easier. Ama it's amazing to see the, 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 the crowd on the side with all the hands up to the eyes, you know. It reminds me of the times when you're playing the goals and you have to have the peak cap or put the hands up. But um, beautiful day. We won't complain with the, with the sun. Long one cut over here. Angle ball over the far side. Bubbles now. Away he goes. Bubbles goes down. Rises this ball. Gathers on the 21. Welter of excitement builds here every time he gets the ball. Sent inside now. Dangerous one in. O'Connor goes to gather. Dean O'Connor feeds this ball on again here now. It's Bubbles coming through here. And oh no, it's just flicked inside there. And it is Owen Shaw rather that uh, just has the final effort there. And uh, they tried hard. Just broke inside nicely, Ken. But uh, That's your first goal opportunity. And created by Bubbles. Great. Uh, Vision to, to give the ball across. It just went out in the post. Lucky escape for Temple Derry. Breaking ball here on the Killing All half back line. Away they go again. Tom Stakelham down the field. Tom Stakelham moves that ball inside now straight away. Fast ball in, but first touch just takes the ball out away from uh, the corner forward Shaw and it's won back by Temple Derry. Mikey Ryan now back to Bubbles. Bubbles gathers. Bubbles turns and fires, but he just sends it over the bar. Wow. What about that? Some spin on that ball like Mark. Kehoe yesterday for Kilsheel in the final. Just a curl in over the bar. Yeah, tremendous score. That's a real forward score. No better man than Bubbles. Dispossessed Christy Coughlin, his immediate marker. Big boost for uh, Killinall with that score. Four pints apiece here in the final. Long one. Driven down the field now. Breaking here in front of Jimmy Feehan. Goes out to gather it here. Hurls well all the time. And uh, great stuff by Jimmy Feehan. And uh, no better man there to win a ball there. Yeah, at the moment, uh, Temple Derry's long puck out strategy is not working. The ball is breaking. Jimmy Feehan, Joe Mouse O'Dwyer, the midfielders, Tom Stake and Lona Connell, all onto the breaking ball. And this gives uh, Killing O'Dwyer a little bit more shooting practice. Killing all will be quite content, Stephen, with the way things are going. So they have a free here just on their own 65, a chance to pint it here. Kieran O'Dwyer now looking at the ball. Had one from a similar position there a little while ago, but uh, this one is very, very central, so we'll see how it goes. Strikes, long, it's going to have the range, and it is accurate as well as that. Over the bar, killing all, back in front by a score. Yeah, and Kieran is 3-2 now, he's three scores. Quick puck out, that's a smarter puck out now by Temple Derry, to keep the ball alive rather than hitting it straight down the middle. Tom Stableton gathers it now, the wing back sends it up the field, all the way up towards the half forward line, breaking ball in there now, in comes Dean O'Connor to win it back for Killing All, well won in there now by Sean Ryan, Sean Ryan feeds it outside him here now, 
Good clever ball as it's sent back in towards Matthew Hogan now and on goes Sean Ryan. Sean Ryan has a bit of room and space. Off he goes as Sean Ryan into the middle. Feeds that ball in there but there's four red jerseys in there and it is Joe DeWire who gathers it and they work it out from defence now. Killing all. Happy to clear their lines there with that one. Dean O'Connor gathers this now. Challenge comes in from Mikey Ryan. Goes by it. Off he goes. Sends it up the field. Up to the half forward line now. Breaking ball up there outside the 21. Well held by Tom Stapleton. Good hands out to Garrod. Garrod Ryan from his own 65. Long. High. Ah, oh, beautiful. He did it with Tipperary back in 2010 when he won an All-Ireland medal. What a hurler, Garrod Ryan. What a tremendous score. Great to see him getting into the game. Captain of the team today. Loyal, great servant of, of Templeterry hurling. And this ball breaking here inside. It's won by Templeterry. Played up the field here now. Won by Jimmy Feehan. Jimmy Feehan feeds this ball inside all the way in now in front of Owen Shaw. Owen Shaw gathers it, takes on his man, a bullet. Oh, oh off the post. post, back into play and into the hands of a grateful full back. And the lines are clear down the field. Breaking ball the other end. Aina Murray out to gather. Aina Murray sends it in. And Aina Murray has pointed a goal chance at one end, a score though at the other. Less than 10 seconds later. Absolutely tremendous score there from. Uh, in a Murray and a, what a shot from Mark Stakelin. Hit the stanchion of the crossbar. Brilliant effort. Tough look and killing all. Sharp puck out, out to O'Connell. O'Connell moves it on quick. Again into Bubbles. Bubbles coming out to gather it, but it's won by Temple Derry again. Dara Carey doing well for him. Plays this ball up towards the half forward line. Shawnee Ryan out to fight for this one here, but Feehan is very good there. Jimmy Feehan leaves it off to Bubbles. Bubbles runs into three and Bubbles wins a free. Super play by Bubbles. Michael Ryan stands him up out there and. Uh, Bubbles actually took a bit of a blow there because he met a bit of a, a brick wall when he <laughs> ran into Michael Ryan. Well, you don't expect anything easy in a championship final, you know, and the ref had given uh, the benefit of the doubt to Bubbles earlier on, giving him the free, but uh, Bo Bubbles showing a bit of fire as well, driving through the middle. But uh, a good passage of, of play now before the water break. This could be the last chance, and it could be a chance to, to equalise the game as well. Okay, so standing over it is Kieran O'Dwyer here. Six points for Templeterry, five for Killinall. Strikes it in all the way. Sweet strike again. We're level here. This is like a brilliant intermediate final yesterday, Ken. It was up and down the field. It's similar today. Two very, very well matched teams here. Yeah, very well matched. And uh, just noting there, uh, Kieran O'Dwyer's four points uh, scored from free is now. So Templeterry need to keep the free count down a little bit. Of course, that wonderful effort for a goal from Mark Stakelam didn't work out, and Aina Murray on the score. Most of Templeterry's scores have been from play, but uh, Killinall will be quite happy the way things are going. They're containing this Templeterry unit because Templeterry have had some facile victories in the Arena Cup, but they're not getting it all their own way today, Stephen. So, six points apiece here, and just waiting for this one here now. Water break stage of the game. Looking down there, Kenneth Brown talking to the team down there. Ramey Ryan, the coach with Killing All. Cormac McGrath, the manager with Temple Derry, talking to his charges. Very finely poised, Ken. Very finely poised. Um, I, I just one thing I'd, I'd like to say is I hope I see the last of this water breaks now for 2021, that we won't see him again in 2022 because uh, hurling's an off the cuff game, and I've seen so many games change because of the fact that. Water breaks have intervened in a flow of a game and things like that. We don't need it in our game. It's only a 30 minute half and uh, players are amply hydrated and ready to go. And it's a water, the water breaks obviously were brought in for a reason. Hopefully we'll see the end of them uh, in di at this, this year. So killing all back out on the field to play. Temple Derry just still in the group there. And uh, Cormac McGrath has proved himself a very good manager, Ken, learning his trade at third level in uh, the college circuit. And, you know, also in there as part of the tip seniors as well over the last few years. Yeah, great experience. And of course, Ramey Ryan, you know, former All-Ireland Camogie manager, winning manager. So great experience there on the sideline and a great backroom team uh, on both sides as well. Team so well prepared. Brian Carroll, the manager with... Uh, Mind Temple 2 here, the coach rather yesterday with Lee England as they won the county final. But who's it going to be here today? The Aureen Cup final, second quarter is underway. Six apiece. It is the cornerback for Temple Derry gathers the ball. Dara Carey now. Down the field, straight up towards the full forward line. Out comes Aina Murray. Trying to win that ball in there, but it's taken off him and away go. Killing all again. The mouse down the field here all the way. Soloing, still soloing. 
leaves it off looking for bubbles just bubbles up with a hurley knocked it down there to uh, Mikey Ryan and Temple Derry cleared their lines in a Murray going up for this ball that's it down trying to gather it there himself Paddy Codd came in with a bit of a challenge there knocked him to the deck and Paddy stands up and says what are you doing ref I went with the shoulder good honest competitor Paddy Codd great footballer for tip down the years and great to go to medal functions for kids all around Tipperary and beyond too yeah, and a great experience campaigner at this level. Uh, Aina Murray now is after winning two nice frees there, one at this side, one at the far side. He's a fleet of foot player, beautiful hurler. And if you knock him off his stride, um, like has, has happened, he's earning his free. So uh, a chance for Aina to put Dimitri ahead. Six apiece here, standing over it, just about to strike in towards the Kalinan in. Massive crowd here for this one. It's sent in, and the Temple Derry crew love it over there. Loads of green and white. Opposite is over in the stand and then you can see that red and yellow tinge over just at the other side of the stand beyond there. So it's the Temple Derry crew and the Killing All all wearing their colours. It's Killing All on the attack from the puck out down the field. Stakelam coming through. Tom Stakelam now into the 14. Tom Stakelam is in and it's flicked back into play here. Corner forward goes to pulling it. No, it's off the cornerback's leg and it's out and it's won by the fullback Christy Coughlin he plays that ball out Dale Donnelly took a hard belt there the ball was loose but not in the net for killing all it is Temple Derry who break once more two goal chances for killing all is it going to be two points right after for Temple Derry Aaron Murphy it is indeed two goal chances for killing all but two points for Temple Derry absolutely correct and fair play to Tom McCutcheon he smothered the ball kept the ball out Great defending by Temple Derry. Long one driven down from the puck out. Fine fetch by McCutcheon over there. Leem just moves it on again. And now to Sean Ryan, their star player. Back here to McCutcheon. Long into the full forward line. Hopping ball over Matty Hogan's head. Matty gathers it now. Turns inside by the sideline. Oh, it's just uh, too difficult an angle for him. He swings wrong. And it uh, trails out the far side of the upright and wide. Yeah, and you could hear it off from the Temple Derry crowd there. Just disappointing, but... Temple Derry uh, trying to, you know, impose themselves in the game now. Long one, down oh, the field, breaking ball inside now. Well took, and uh, it's Dean O'Connor and strikes. And Dean O'Connor has put it wide for killing all. They've had the chances in this game, but the backs for Temple Derry just putting them under severe pressure every time they strike. Puck out sent down the field in the hand of Sean Ryan. Out of it, back to McCutcheon, back to Sean Ryan. Does well, controls it, hand passes it back again to McCutcheon, but uh, they ran out of field. The grass just went dry there, and it is going to be uh, a line ball just over the white line as uh, Killinall just size it up and chance for them to build again here. Still, they've had two chances. Just can't get that goal, though, that they so crave in this first half. 8-6, Temple Derry leading. 20 minutes on the clock here. It's the Arene Cup final with thanks to Skull Rowan in, in Killinall on Tip FM. And it's also live uh, on the Tip GAA stream. This one sent in around the house. Tom Stapleton does well. Gathers, drives it back out the field. All the way back out. And it's uh, gone out of play over the far side of the field at the right stand. It is going to be another line ball for the half forward Kieran O'Dwyer over there and uh, they're getting loads of chances Ken just not converting them all killing all are well in this game you know and they're always uh, difficult uh, to beat but they have had a couple of goal chances and if they get one they could get two cut in now Dwyer sends it in towards Mikey Ryan's side and Mikey Ryan is there little tug of the jersey in there not sure if it's Donnelly or Ryan but it is going to be a free in for killing all Bubbles will gratefully take the slitter here and uh, Kieran Otherwire is going to take it and this is a straightforward one to bring it back to a one point game yeah without a doubt and those frees are keeping killing all in the game now it's, it's, it's really close um, two big goal chances and scores at the other end for Temple Derry but Killian now has a chance or Kieran has a chance to put one point in so it's just sent between the posts with ease and Away we go again, looking out here it is, Orlan Murphy just there in centre field, waiting for that ball, waiting for a break in play here, keeper gets ready, Tom McCutcheon, long one out here now, breaking towards the half forward line, ball spilt out there, Michael Ryan goes to gather, does really well, sends it in on top of the full forward line now, looping ball in there, out goes Matthew Hogan, having a good battle there with Killian Odewire, the captain of Killing All, the corner back, and Odewire is a feisty defender and plays it out to the mouse, the mouse, 
Long from him, all the way up the field towards the half forward line. Bubbles lurking up there, pulled on in the air in there, and the ball spins inside Dara Carey's head. Out he goes to gather it. Bubbles is in lurking, but Christy Coughlin is there. Steady hands, rises that ball out now to Michael Ryan, and the green and white go again. Breaking there by Jimmy Feehan, lovely pull in the air. Down as far as Dean O'Connor, going to have a go and a fantastic block down by Oren Murphy who sprinted 30 yards there to get the block in before O'Connor had a shot at the post. That sums up, you know, hunger and will to win and what a block down by Oren Murphy. Two great pints as well from the middle of the field but uh, that's as good as a score. It lifts your team to get the block. Now the line boss today have been absolutely excellent and Kieran O'Dwyer fancies himself to get this around in the danger area. Looking inside him now, ready to cut it. Oh, beautiful oh. sideline. It's in the air, it's in the air, it's over the bar. Oh, sweet score. Kieran O'Dwyer, that is just supreme. Supreme, outstanding. Worth the admission uh, price alone to see a score like that taken. Beautiful score. Shot run out to the full back now. One handed. Christy Coughlin sends it up the field. Eight pints apiece, 23 in the clock. Oreen Cup final time in the first half here. Spill ball in there. Lee Maher trying to gather it now for killing all. Ball breaks inside. It's won by uh, Tom Stakelham. Away he goes. Leaves it off here. Outside him out to the mouse. Sends it long. Up. Looping ball in on top of the half forward line. A brilliant catch by Mark Stakelham. Takes on his man. Mark Stakelham for killing all. Fires it in inside the 21. Breaking ball in there. And uh, the keeper is happy to just let that drift out and wide. Tom McCutcheon just looked at that ball. Said I ain't going for that one. Leave it in and out. Over the line and uh, takes it fast now to Stakelham. Long. Tom Stapleton drives it down the field. Breaking ball now in front of Hassett in there. And Jack Hassett, the cornerback, does well. Rises that ball. Burks out for the corner flag. Up along the line now up to Dean O'Connor. And uh, a push in there. It is going to be a free out. little flick of the hurley is what uh, the ref tells the Temple Derry attacker in there that it is going to be a free out for killing all and uh, Temple Derry attacker saying what was that for and uh, the ref made a signal yeah he saw it and he's in fairness to John Dooley he's up with play and he's uh, very decisive in his decisions eight apiece 24 gone now in the Orient Cup final it's going to be killing all to cut this one up the field we have the Dan Breen final after this one today the main showpiece senior hurling championship final in Tipperary the A competition here we go Joe the wire drives it long down the field breaking ball beautiful take in there and it's all oh, oh just off the post it's just flicked on there beautiful skill from Mark Stakeland but it's won by Dara Carey off he goes drives it long down the field all the way breaking ball now in front of the half back line in there, it's Matthew Hogan. Ball just spilled inside and it's well won by Joe Dwyer. He's having a fine game for killing all. Brilliant hurler. Leaves it off to Lee Maher. Up there, Garrod Ryan. Super challenging there like he did with Kilkenny many years. Garrod going down trying to rise that ball. And he's uh, free given against Garrod there. And uh, that seemed harsh, Ken. Yeah, that seemed very harsh. To his momentum brought him down on top of the ball rather than him trying to play the ball I thought it uh, it was maybe a throw in it at, at most uh, but that free a critical free is given and it's a chance maybe for the first time in a while for uh, Killinall yeah. to go ahead now Mark Stakelham is, has been in awful hard luck down there he's won two great balls off the crossbar off the post um, surely his luck will come at some stage if he keeps persevering so ready to strike this one here it is Kieran O'Dwyer and uh, he gets ready now looking at this just from outside the 65 great chance here for them place goes hush here huge amount of people in for it today for the final but uh, all quiet as he strikes all the way in and it just drifts out this time and it has gone wide still level and turless here in the Orin cup final we're ready to go tom mccutcheon long one out the far side of the field beautiful fetch over there and Left off by O'Leary all the way down now in front of the full forward line. Macho Hogan out to gather it, but it's won by killing all again. They have the ball out to Dean O'Connor. Dean O'Connor is there, and Dean O'Connor has a free out. Challenge came from Aina Murray. It was high, and uh, this could be a booking for Aina Murray. The ref just uh, tells him you were over the head and uh, over the neck height. So it was a head challenge, so it could be carried here, Ken. Yeah, and Ian Murray, a very clean player, by the way. In actual fact, Dean caught the ball, and we thought he was coming this direction, but he actually turned back into Ina. Now, Ina was probably uh, 
a little bit high in the tackle, but it was actually a colli Dean collided with Aina rather than the other way around. But um, the yellow card is given, and Aina Murray doesn't pick up too many yellow cards. Uh, but obviously, he has to be careful from now on with the head high tackle. So, Joseph of the Wire, Joe Mouse, as we call him, an outstanding uh, minor in Toronto with Tipperary and a senior panelist as well. So, he has the free. So getting ready to strike this, rest of them moving back out of the way, sends it long all the way, it's going to have the distance, ah, oh, fantastic point, what a score, that is just brilliant from his own halfback line, they move a point up, 9-8. Tremendous score from Joe Mouse, great leadership there shown by him again. Goalie gets ready again, long one from McCutcheon, fantastic take by Aina Murray, just spills out of his hand though at the last second and... It's down on the deck now. Temple Derry have it back again here. Michael Ryan, great vision to the spot. Garoud outside him and Garoud sends it high and sends it long, but it just tails off and just goes wide from the captain down there. Temple Derry all set for this one here, like Mark Gleason, their SNC coach, Mikey Tyne and their physio. They're on the attack again here now. Oren Murphy feeds it inside now. Shawnee Ryan looking for it in there. Padre O'Leary gathers it and he bursts through. And like you'd see with Ireland against the All Blacks, he's wrestled to the deck. It is going to be a free and straightforward one for Temple Derry O'Leary, just catching his breath down there on the ground at the minute. Yeah, and got a second tackle as well. He was fouled, and uh, like the Clare team of the 90s, they hit you the second time, the third time to earn your free. And uh, Paddy certainly earned that free, so Aina has a chance to restore parity now between the two teams. Really tight uh, game. Uh, nobody can predict the outcome at this stage, Stephen. Both teams straining every muscle to win every ball. So, a nice one here for Murray as he just slots it over the bar just outside the 21. Just trying to make out what they said there. One minute added on at the end of the first half. Andy Ryan is over here just beside us. And uh, we're ready to go again. Long one down the field. Let fly on there now by uh, Dara Carey just down into a teammate's chest and the ball just spills away from him. It's gone off a killing all player though. It is going to be a line ball. Dara Carey wants to take it quick. Trying to shove him out of the way now. Bubbles just moving back. Telling players where to go here and uh, call the shots here. Of course, he's their big star. Always does it for Tipperary in front of 80 plus thousand people. Doing it for killing all all the time. Makes a great effort, was uh, doing fundraisers last Christmas for Killing All as well. Makes a huge effort, but Tipperary working hard all year here. Sean Ryan has it. Leaves it inside now. Owen O'Connell. Owen O'Connell now trying to control this ball over the far side. Does really well. Challenge comes in from Matty Hogan, and it's just another high challenge in there. And uh, Tipperary forwards and the Killing All backs, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of challenges that are fairly earnest, if not more than that, Ken. Yeah, fairly hardy, and uh, uh, Tipperary will have to cut out the free count. Uh, when they lose possession on the half-back line, uh, Stephen, they're giving away the simple harmless free instead of trying to recover the ball. So we're ready to go now long down the field. Breaking ball inside now and it's gathered in there. Temple Derry trying to defend this one, but it is killing all who get another score here this time. It's sent in, caught a good turn inside and put over the bar by Dean O'Connor. Yeah, Dean O'Connor very busy, hugely involved in the game. Breaking ball now. Dean O'Connor racing onto the break here. Now in comes Michael Ryan. And it is Garrod Ryan who gathers it though. And Garrod wins himself a free. Such a brilliant worker for Tipperary. Talking to him in the dome the last day. He's foraging for years and years with Temple Derry. He's really up for this year. Really looking to win that medal here in Simple Stadium. They're really just playing here for the first time in a long time. Kilnall playing here quite often and talking to their secretary Cora down there, the buzz around the parish is something else and uh, Cora's dad is over the far side as well, wrote a great book on Sean Tracy's Cutting and Eating the Bushes, an absolutely brilliant book if you get your hands on it, it's uh, Sean Tracy's history and it's written by Cora's father, the secretary of Temple Derry, this one sent in and Murray Pints and what a score again, the free taking has been excellent, it hasn't been all that free Ken in this game but uh, you know no real brilliant passages of play or anything like that but you know the frees are exceptionally good on both sides, we've had a lot of them to be honest now but it's 10 apiece. Yeah I think it's a compelling game obviously uh, the referee is very strict uh, on, on infringements but I think this is a real tight, hard game. Typical championship final where nothing is asked or given. But I can tell you this much, both teams will be going in saying we have a huge chance of annexing honours. 
Tim Kilnaud may be slightly the happier because uh, Tim Derry has started well. But now Tim Derry's forward. I'm, like, we haven't seen Sean Ryan, and it's not particularly Sean's fault. The ball hasn't been g going into him. And uh, the Sean Ryans of this world, the Asian Ryans, who have been prolific throughout the championship, haven't got to the opportunities that have got previous to this. I see Brian Stapleton down there as well, former tip, uh, minor 31 and senior. I'm sure he will be mad to get in and get going again as well. He is a long-standing back ailment, but uh, what a player to bring in, Stephen. Good stuff, Ken. The Sean Tracy pipe bander. We're going to warm up at halftime here in Turles uh, for the big game here, the Dan Breen final. This one is big as well, though. It is the Orene Cup halftime, 10 points apiece. Ronan Quirk is over in studio, and we're going to take a quick commercial break and uh, Ron will be there on Tip FM and we'll be back soon with the stream as well. We're going to take a sharp commercial break now.
And you're very welcome back to Turles here. Templary are out on the field for the second half. We can't wait for this one, the Oreen Cup final. Templary are out, the pipe band are over the far side and that historic feeling about county final day builds when you hear that music and the drums going over there the far side of the field we're still waiting for Killinall to emerge for uh, the second half here the referee is on the field he's beckoned to them to come on quick here now and uh, Templary in their positions lined up I'm Stephen Gleeson Ken Hogan is alongside me here 10 pints apiece Ken Oreen Cup final what will the manager down there Kenneth Brown be saying to those Killinall lads before he lets him out. Yeah, it couldn't be tighter, 10 points all. Kenneth Brown will be quite happy. Ramey Ryan, they'll be quite happy with Killinall's display. We haven't seen some of the marquee forwards, Adrian Ryan and Sean Ryan particularly, yet in action. They haven't got their supply of ball, I suppose, but Killinall will be very heartened by their first half display. Now it'll come down, it's a huge pitch for both club teams, you know. It'll come down probably to fitness and probably introduction of fresh blood uh, towards the end. It's all to play for. Um, I see number 18, Brian Stapleton is introduced with Audrey Murphy, so we have a change. I have a change down there and uh, just looking at the killing all bench, it's strong down there as well. Matthew O'Donnell, Gus Brown, Kieran Bergen, Owen Barry, Paddy Fee and all on the bench for killing all today. But it is Temple Derry who go on the attack here now, down the field here. Solo and in it is Tom Stapleton, loose inside, won by the mouse and in there now for killing all. Back to Dean O'Connor, having a good game. Sends it up the feed now, up towards the half-forward line. Breaking ball in there. Michael Dyle coming out to gather it. It's won again by Derek Harry. What a tigerish corner back he is there now. We're ready for this. Up the field here. Breaking ball in front of Tom Stakelham. Coming out to gather it here. And the ball is just loose on the deck there. Kicked along the ground. Still in there. Fighting for it. Lee Maher somehow wins it with four green jerseys around him. It's pulled along the ground. Templary go on the attack in there. And a loose swing at a hurley. Comes inside, it is going to be a free in for Temple Derry. Nice start to the second half, Ken. Such a simple ball for Temple Derry, you know, cut off the ground, but into their main man, Sean Ryan. And that's the first ball, clear ball, a scoring opportunity he's got, free. And Sean has actually taken responsibility himself to get him into the game and to go a pint ahead. And it's sent in and over the bar. And there you have it, they're a pint up at the moment at the end of this game. We're going to have a Man of the Match award here and John Quirk Jewelers in care will present it and uh, we'll announce that Man of the Match close to the end of this game. The award will be presented here in Semple Stadium over the far side of the field, close to D-Day. It's another free in this match and it is going the way of killing all this time and uh, all frees really, isn't it? Dean O'Connor is doing marvellous work on right and Templary could do maybe with a switch of their wing backs because... He's having a huge uh, impact in the game, Dean O'Connor. He's scored two great points. He's won a couple of frees. And now he's after winning a free straight after halftime. So, Templary need to keep an eye on that. Uh, because um, Mikey Ryan just struggling a bit uh, for power there. If just a simple switch of the wings, uh, Stephen, would help. So, they have this free now just inside the 65. The rise and strike. And Kieran O'Dwyer pops this one in. But it's Ooh. gone wide. And it is still 11-10, Templary leading here what a weekend of sport what a match yesterday mine temple two he crowned intermediate hurling champions of tipperary it is temple Derry looking for it this time o'leary feeds it back as far as garode ryan and garode sends it in and it's just tailed off and gone wide so tension starting to build here between the two teams north and south of the county here breaking now one ball out there by uh Ryan Adrian this time, cousin of Garrod. He sends it in around the house. Good ball in. Shawnee comes out to gather it. Shawnee just turns in there and it's going to be a free out. And uh, just looking, Cormac McGrath, the manager down there of Templary, just can't believe what that free was for. Yeah, and John like just needs to let the game go a little bit. Uh, nobody even blinked an eye there. Both teams are tussling for possession. Just leave the game go. Yeah. Uh, for, for five minutes to see can we get a flow in the game but it has been all freeze up to now yeah a lot of stop start play here two good free takers it has to be said but uh, the game just needs those goal chances needs that bit of excitement here there are two good teams well able to play and mad to just have a go Joe Dwyer in around the house breaking ball in there up goes uh, Tom Stapleton flicks that ball outside him here now 
Kieran O'Dwyer for killing all, racing there to get there in front of Adrian Ryan, but it is Temple Derry who cleared the lines, out to Jimmy Feehan now, Jimmy Feehan for killing all, little flick inside to Bubbles, Bubbles takes on his man, three around him again, and oh, they just bottle him up every time, it's gone out over the line, right in front of the Temple Derry supporters over the far side, they absolutely love that. Yeah, great har hassling by the lads, Christy Coughlin really stick tight to, to Bubbles, Bubbles trying to get a little bit of freedom. Cut into the middle, good line ball, straight into Dara Carey, on mark, brilliant player here, sends it up all the way to Shawnee, Shawnee gathers this, and just out of his hand, out to Joe O'Dwyer, Joe O'Dwyer out to Killian O'Dwyer, Killian feeds it on again, and Killian all working that ball out through the lines now, they have to be careful, a good senior football team as well, well able to do that, out to Lee Maher, long ball all the way in, Owen Shaw sprinting to get there, but the long ball just letting him down. Yeah, Killian of the Wire, what a ga game he's having at, on Sean Ryan. Uh, smashing corner back, tight, hard, and Sean is getting it tough down there. Good hurler, Sean Ryan. Nickname, Sean Ryan. Uh, just down there on the go. Red Ned is his uh, nickname. Loads of uh, nicknames with all the Ryans up there. Temple Derry, Upper Church, all that area. But uh, Shawnee Ryan Redneck looking for this ball now. It's sent in, comes out to gather it there, and it's just taken off his hand by Jimmy Feehan. What a player Jimmy Feehan is. Shawnee has it again, and he sends it in. High, all the way in, but it just drifts out, and it goes wide this time. And Shawnee is one that's going to be on Colin Bonner's radar, no doubt, Ken. Without a doubt, and, uh, you know, things are just not working out for him at the moment, but a great player, Sean Ryan. This one broken by Kieran O'Dwyer. Left off to Lee Maher into Bubbles. Beautiful again from Bubbles, but again under pressure. And it's drifted out and gone wide. Their free taker, though, is down injured. Kieran O'Dwyer down in the deck out here in centre field. And uh, this could be ominous for Killing All if he's not fit to continue. As he's a serious there, player. They're trying to isolate Sean Ryan inside with Killing O'Dwyer. The they're trying to give him a chance to get a bit of room. The two other forwards have come out the pitch to give Sean that bit of space because as you know, if he gets one opportunity. But at the other end then, equally, Bubbles, uh, Derek Carey keeping a tight rein and Christy Coughlin when he takes him up. They're really watching the marquee forwards, making sure that they're ma not having a huge impact on the game. Really tight game. We didn't expect it tight like this, particularly on a huge pitch like Simple Stadium. We thought to be more free scoring, but uh, the play just hasn't developed enough for my liking. And please God, you know, we're looking forward to the senior final that there'll be more flow to the play. Keeper getting ready now to drive it long. It's Tom McCutcheon here. Since this one breaking in the middle of the field there now. Lee Maher just took a blow, went down there, but uh, connected with the ball. But it's Temple Derry who win it, and they go on the attack here. And it is Brian Stapleton who points from out the field. A beautiful score. Brian Stapleton, the provider for the Kenyans. Yeah, huge loss to starting loss to, to Temple Derry, but what a point from Brian. Great take by Bubbles here. Bubbles turns and fires it in and says to the ref, give me the advantage, give me the free then. Uh, no free there for Bubbles as he was just pushed as he went to strike. That one still a two-point lead for Temple Derry. 12-10, 36 and 8 o'clock. Arena Cup final here. Breaking ball. Garode. Oh, beautiful from Garode. Swings on this one, but it just tails off the far side and goes out wide at the town end here. The pressure's on. All teams here, they're having a go though, they're opening up and ready to shoot from all angles. 12, playing 10, Temple Derry ahead. Temple Derry, my home, great rendition done by the primary school up there. They're loving the buzz here, they're two points up into Shawnee Ryan. Breaking ball, Shawnee has it now, Shawnee, Red Ned bursting through, away he goes. Oh, what a goal! Shawnee Ryan, where that bullet! Ah, oh, it's such a brilliant goal at the town end. The game needed it. Temple Derry got it. Great goal by Shawnee Ryan. Brilliant play by Kenny Dwyer. Intercepted, but a quick flick. And that's what Shawnee Ryan's trade is. Going straight through. Brilliant goal. Oh. Breaking ball. Brian Stapleton battled up there. And Killing All have a free in now. And it's been brought up a bit further. And uh, what was that free for, Ken? Uh, a very harsh over carrying on Brian Stapleton. But it gives Killing All the chance to stay in the game with Killing of the Wire. Uh, straight from the puck out. But Sean Ryan, what a wonderful finish. There was only one thing in his mind, goal. And he put it away with a plumb. Oh, fantastic finish for it. And we see Kieran Bergen down below has now been beckoned there by his banished door, Kenneth Brown. And he says, come up here where you're needed now. 
loads of county experience there. So Kieran Bergen up and warming up for killing all. They have this sent in by Kieran O'Dwyer. He pints it here. It's a four pint game, and that's a good response for killing all after that sucker blow of a goal. Yeah, they needed to get that score, and they've got it, and Timbledary's have to keep playing. Long puck out again from McCutcheon now, breaking in around centre forward. Tom Stakelum flicks in that ball, ball breaking inside. Brian Stapleton wins it, and Brian Stapleton on the attack, and oh, took a little flick from the keeper just to be sure that it went over the bar. It was uh, drifting in there, a bit of spin on it, and the sun in the eyes, it could have gone in lower than the crossbar. Yeah, into the what net. a huge impact Brian Stapleton has already in the game. Two brilliant points and the orchestrator of the goal. Breaking ball now in centre field. Temple Derry out quick to win the killing all. Puck out now. It's broken free there though. And it's won by Paddy Codd. Feeds it on again. Paddy Codd called into it here. But Aina Murray wins it back and plays it back in the middle of the field. Killing all on the attack. Great block down there by uh, Dale Donnelly. And then there's a bit of a wild swing there. And uh, Temple Derry have a player down injured. The ref is uh, going over there now. It looks like Podrick O'Leary who took a hard blow there. We could... Hear it yeah. from up here Hor with Horry the boss of the Hurley. Horry Collier's done a great job there because he sacrificed himself for the team. He started at full forward, even though he's named to 12. But he's winning hard ball, and that's two or three freezes after winning there through unselfish play and going in to win the ball. And hopefully he'll recover pretty quickly. 113 to 11 points. Temple Derry up in this game, and O'Leary down on the deck. Killing all just uh, calling for action. On the double here, they're bringing on uh, Kieran Bergen straight away. And uh, we'll see where Bergen is going on. He's a good influential player to have just to steady the ship and come out with a bit of ball and play good ball, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. And um, like Brian Stapleton, he should have that know-how and that experience. So Mark Stakelin, the player, going off. And uh, Bergen heading in there in around the... Uh, uh, nearly the full forward line actually you know Stakelin, I, I thought Mark, he'd be more midfield. Mark Stakelin has been in very hard luck Stephen like he's hit the post twice and it's just a tough tough day for him because he's tried uh, to uh, Im make an impact in the game hitting the post twice very hard luck on him yeah could easily have had a couple of goals here but uh, Temple Derry going the attack here another wide here for them though as uh, that one just drifts out and we're ready to go. Jonathan Leeson, long one this time, sent out the field, but it's straight to Garod Ryan. Beautiful fetch by Garod, balances on the hurley. Off he goes, sends it high, sends it long. Ah, oh, just magnificent. Garod Ryan, what a score. The captain for Temple Derry, providing the inspiration. Super score from Garod, that's great leadership. Flying through the middle like the old days, putting the ball over the bear. One ball here this time by killing all and uh, they have a free out this time. Joe O'Dwyer, the mouse, just winning that ball. And they really need scores now. This game is getting away from them fairly lively here in the last four or five minutes. Scholar one killing all the sponsor of this game on Tip FM today. They'll be open for enrolments now for September. And they have a free out here at the moment. We're live on the Tip GAA stream as well. Beamed across the world on Tip FM and on Tip GAA TV today, the Oreen Cup final, a free out for Kieran Ottawire. It's as good as a free in these days, but it's sent out and it goes wide this time. Still a six point lead for Temple Derry, 42 in the clock. Since that goal, the whole thing has opened up for Temple Derry. Tom Stableton now takes a sharp puck out, drives it long up the field. Shawnee coming out to win it here. Breaking ball there, Padraig O'Leary out on top, but it's took by Jack Cassett this time. Jack feeds this ball outside him here now. On to Oren Murphy. Murphy going to gather it here. And Murphy is breaking inside. Oh, beautiful. They're playing with confidence. They're playing with swab. They know that the cup could be going back to Templary soon. Yeah, and Oren Murphy, three unbelievable points from play. Brian Stapleton, two points from play from that middle of the park. So they're really getting top. 12 wides, by the way, for killing all. Uh, a lot of wides. Breaking ball out there again. And it is killing all this time. Owen O'Connell. Trying to win that ball, just fetched out there by Michael Dyle, trying to get involved in the play there, but it's up as far as Adrian Ryan. Off he goes, Adrian, a cousin of Garrod, sends this one high over the bar. They're on their feet in the Ryan stand opposite us, and the subs are the same here in the Canaan stand. They have another pint, 
115, now it's 116, playing 11 points. Shark one out now, it's out as far as Michael Dial. Killing all, need scores, the main man from Hazard. Bubbles, sends it high, and Bubbles, points for Killing all. They need plenty of those now, this game is drifting away from them. Yeah, they need plenty of that ball as well that Bubbles got, because he had one eye in the goals, but a great score. But uh, Temple Derry, their overall fitness, they look just a little bit sharper at the moment. 116 playing 12 points. It is sent long down the feed. Oh, high challenge there. And Padraig O'Leary's on the deck. Gets up and hits a shoulder there to Jack Hassett. Though it took a hard belt that time with a uh, hurley down across his helmet. Uh, the ball sent into the corner anyway. It is killing all going on the attack here. In goes Bubbles to try and win this. Temple have it up. Back to the goalie. McCutcheon. Drives it long, out the field, out here as far as Adrian Ryan. Adrian gathers this ball, trying to just flick that one inside now and bottled up in there. It is going to be a throw in and uh, Andre Tor is looking for the Schlitter and we'll see now what happens here. Brian Stapleton going in for this, he's going to throw it in. Owen O'Connell there as well with him. Two lads in the middle now, mad for driving that ball down the field. In comes Garraud to win it back. Still loose, ball on the deck. Pulled on in there by Tom Stakelham. Back only to the excellent Dara Carey. Having a superb game for Temple Derry. Sends it over to Shawnee Redned. Redned now on the way. High, long, dropping in. Oh, this will be some score if it is. No, it's out, it's gone wide. The restart from Jonathan Leeson. Takes it fast, out as far as the corner back now. Out he goes, long down the field, all the way. Again, a brilliant fetch by Derek Carey. Spills out of his hand though. Out now to Oren Murphy. Murphy, time and room. Nice ball, sent up to the unmarked half forward here. It's gathered and turned, Matthew Hogan. No one on him, but it's uh, dropping short this time into the keeper's hands. Still waiting for that score. Killing all, hanging on by their fingernails to this game. It is Temple Derry cruising at the minute and going up the gears. Gerard Ryan this time. Sends it into Shawnee Ryan again. Shawnee, beautiful little flick inside him, trying to get away from the corner back. And uh, no, they're giving a free out to Killing all. And you could argue that one either way, but it is uh, taken quick out to the half back line. Gathered by Joe the wire. Lovely ball by Joe. Hit in towards Bubbles, but. Uh, too much pace in it again and just overheat and killing all just that you know it's the inches it's the yards and they're wrong in those yeah and they're playing very deep at the moment you're not going to win a game with only one forward on the inside line when you're chasing the game seven points down they need to put a few players up front to give support to bubbles when he wins that ball well, away we go again still in the third quarter here waiting for that water break the players are it's one out there now by Oren Murphy Temple Derry don't want any water break they're cruising Brian Stapleton this time. And on they go, and on and on again it is. Looking like it's going north of the shore this time. The Irene Cup contenders here. It's Temple Derry cruising, 117, 12 points. Yeah, six points from the middle of the park for Temple Derry. What an impact Brian Stapleton has made in the game. Coming in, uh, three tremendous points. Audrey Murphy, two in the first, one in the second. And of course that delivery to the ball for Sean Ryan's goal as well. But Keep in mind that killing all, 12 wides, 12 wides we've had, and uh, that, at this level, in a final situation, you cannot afford uh, to miss so many opportunities. But Temple Derry, their tails are up now, Stephen. Yeah, it really looks like it's just gone beyond killing all. Apart from a collapse by Temple Derry, you'd have to say that they're winning this. Yeah, but we saw last night in the Dublin final, you know, uh, games can be coughed up. And they had a huge lead, Nafina in the Dublin final against Kilmacoda, and unfortunately didn't finish out the job. So I'm sure Cormac McGrath is uh, pretty astute. Tom Stapleton getting a rub in his calf there. Tom Stapleton, another marvellous servant of Temple Derry hurling and playing outstandingly well on the back line today. So will it be the north or the south here? Shkina Narinki won the Junior A title yesterday. Really good final quarter to beat a Holy Cross team that was winning a lot of the way in that Junior A final. The intermediate final was an absolutely brilliant game yesterday between mine, Temple Tuohy, and uh, Kilsheelan, Kilcash. The south side were in it all the way. Myself and James Barry were at that one. And I have to say, it was just a brilliant match throughout. Huge excitement with mine, Temple Tuohy, edging it by a single point. It's north against south here today. Killing all are back out on the field for the last quarter. Temple Derry are just down there with Cormac McGrath, uh, brother of Shane. In there just talking to him. He's loads of management experience. Kiruan McDonough's 
third level colleges up in uh, Limerick and with Temple Derry this year Cormac really up for this and uh, puts an awful lot of time and thought into his tactics and everything related to it and he'll be delighted with how Temple Derry are going here final quarter as we prepare for the restart another score to bring you full time Nina 1-8 Clannacenny 5 points in the county junior B football semi-final and also the under 19 uh, county football semi-final result uh, Ballina 1-7 J.K. Brackens 1-4 in that game. Junior B Hurland semi-final. Uh, Clanolty 2-20. Clearahan 1-7 in that game. So straightforward win for Clanolty there. A couple of changes being made here, Ken. Yeah, a couple of changes being made. Killing all are ringing the changes now. They have got to do that. Matt O'Donnell and, of course, Paddy Feehan. Paddy Feehan, fo county footballer as well, in to try and win some hard ball for him. Here we go, we're underway again, long puck out now, breaking in around midfield there, it's uh, the Robins who have it, they're coming on the attack here, this ball sent in, Bubbles comes out, beautiful take, brilliant hands by Bubbles, leaves it out to Paddy Fee and Paddy bursting through for a goal here, Paddy Fee and Hurley held there, but uh, no free, Temple Derry just work it back out of defence, out now as far as Oren Murphy, Murphy, long ball all the way up again, looking for Shawnee, Shawnee goes up, oh beautiful, from Shawnee Ryan, leaves it in here now to Macho Hogan, ball just being spilt in there, still in the deck, killing all, do really well to win this back now, it's out to Lee Maher, Lee Maher now, but again dispossessed, Shawnee Ryan, red net, off he goes, oh beautiful flick outside, this guy is excellent, out to Garrod, Garrod now, soloing in again, back again to Shawnee, Shawnee across the field, all the way over, exhibition stuff from Temple Derry, Adrian Ryan, Adrian burst it through, oh! Just at the left of the upright and just wide. What a magnificent goal that would have been. Yeah, savage move between the two Ryans, Garrod and Sean, and did a great ball across to Adrian. Now, I'm sure Cormac from Grau is saying, take your points, keep the scoreboard ticking, put it over the bar and nail the game. Breaking ball, Paddy Feehan going up for this one now, down in the deck again here. It is Owen Barry fighting for it there, but uh, ball has been won by the captain for Father. Up in Father Kenyon, up in Temple Derry. It's won, it's gathered, and another shot coming in this time. And all the way, Garrod Ryan cleared the ball all the way up the field. His cousin Adrian put it over the bar. Yeah, and Adrian, <laughs> he got the second chance there, and he said, I'm putting this one between the post. And uh, there's a lot of daylight now, uh, nine points. Ball gone out over the line, over the far side of the field, and uh, they really relish this. Secretary Cora was saying she can't wait for it. Her uncle Denny, of course, uh, scored a winning goal in the All Ireland final back in 1971. 50 years ago, I talked to him for Tipperary Game of My Life, and Denny is cheering on Temple Derry Kenyans today and uh, well up for this one. And Cora down there with the rest of the backroom team for Temple Derry. They're loving every puck of the ball. It is Garrod who has it, and Garrod has a free out. and. Uh, just signalling to the goalkeeper, take this, slow it down, and uh, this is really exhibition stuff for the last five, ten minutes. Yeah, Ken. this is where the leaders come in. Garrod covering the ground now, up and down the pitch. Brilliant win. And, of course, Derek Carey, Lee McCutcheon, absolutely outstanding in the back line there. And now they're going to start the forwards moving again. St. Long, down the field this time. Breaking in there, won by killing all, bursting out. Joe Dwyer having a serious game now, plays it out the field here. It's gathered now by Michael Dial, all the way up the field. But again, Temple Derry hold firm, and it's sent back up the field, all the way up here as far as Adrian Ryan. Adrian drives it on again here now, in as far as Padraig O'Leary. Back again to Adrian Ryan. Ah, oh, fantastic, just dropping short, and it's uh, the goalie who comes and gathers it. And he sends it back out the field. And what a show by Temple Derry. Again, Dara Carey, immense in defence. Drove that ball up the field. This one out here once more now. It's Brian Stapleton. Back outside to Garrod. Garrod from his own 65. Sends it high. Sends it long. Ah, magnificent. The subs are punching the air down there. The Temple Derry crowd are absolutely loving it. I was in Boris Lee during the week. They were all... Shouting on their neighbours in Temple Derry. There'll be some party up there tonight. 
This ball sent long, breaking up there. Brilliant catch by Christy Coughlin. Out he goes. Christy Coughlin leaves off this one outside him now. Up to Oren Murphy. Murphy, long ball all the way in on top of the full forward line. Shawnee comes out to gather. Shawnee again. Oh, magnificent if it goes over the bar. Oh, yes. Shawnee Ryan Redned. Pencil the name in. You're going to be hearing about him for Tipperary for the next decade or more. Yeah, Sean Ryan, outstanding hurler and has got the opportunity. He's got the quality ball in the second half and he's punished. Killing all. Away they come again here now this time. Ball out here as far as Adrian Ryan. Adrian sends it long all the way up the field. Keeper comes out. Does really well now. Gathers this and sends it way back up the field. All the way up. Killing all need goals. The game is up for them if they don't get one soon. 120 to 12 points here. It's all green and white though. Another one coming in, long ranger. Oh, from their own half back line, they can score from anywhere. Yeah, and Paddy O'Leary, without a doubt, Paddy O'Leary deserves that score. Absolutely outstanding score from Paddy. Colin Murray on the field of play here now, ready to go again. 121 playing 12 points, 51 on the clock here ready to go short one out here now as far as uh killing the wire the captain takes it out there drives it long down the field all the way up here looking for mccutcheon mccutcheon gathers and mccutcheon bursts out mikey ryan now all the way over along the far side of the field over there to colin murray murray moves it on quick along the deck ball just pulled on in there by cod Caught on again now to uh, Paddy Fee and I'm back again and away they go. Paddy Stoller went in here now. Green and white wall. Can he find a teammate? Doesn't need to this time. Ref blows the whistle. Free in for killing all, but uh, really you get the feeling it's over as a contest. Yeah, fair play to Paddy Fee and he's won two balls there and is headed, you know, in the direction of goal. Try to make things happen. Paddy O'Leary, very satisfied customer. Great uh, guy in the in, unsung hero, really, for Temple Derry. Won some great ball and to cap it with that wonderful point there. Uh, just before he was substituted, so score for killing all. And he's down there with a bandage on his head and the blood coming from the bandage. It's like something you'd see in the... All the, the sweeter, I all the sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> the Ireland rugby players back in the day or something, and it is uh, the keeper who goes again here, Tom McCutcheon. Long ball up the field, breaking here. Garrod this time. Garrod angles it over to Shawnee. Shawnee goes up with a hand, knocks it down now. In comes the other corner forward, Matthew Hogan. But uh, well read there by Jimmy Feehan. Jimmy bursting out. And Jimmy has a free out this time. And, uh, you know, killing all, going well, Ken. But, uh, like, it, the fitness at Temple Area is Yeah, it's the fitness levels. And we spoke, Shane Brophy, we said, spoke about that at half time. The fitness levels of Temple Derry have, have made a huge impact in this game. And the second half, they're totally superior. Oh, big chance. So we go. Killing all and killing all have got to go late in this game. 121 to 113. Yeah, and a great goal it was too. And he took his chance when he got it on Barry. Uh, intercepted the ball. A bit of courtesy from, from Temple Derry and Owen Barry. Wonderful goal. Good hurler. Played well. Back a few years ago against Boris Salee in an under 21B county final. Was on the freeze that day. And Owen Barry, really good sharp shooter. But... Uh, it's probably too little too late here as this one is sent out the field. Matthew Hogan now trying to gather it. The ball gone out over the line again. And uh, linesman's flag is up and he's not signalling either way. So the ref is on the way over to talk to uh, the linesman there. And uh, Ken, we're announcing the man of the match very soon. John Quirk Jewelers in care will uh, be presenting the prize over at the Oreen stand side. Um, loads of different contenders here for it today. Yeah, loads of contenders. Uh, the two Stapletons, absolutely outstanding. Tom and Brian, and of course, Sean Ryan getting that goal. Garrod Ryan, brilliant. Joseph, Joseph O'Dwyer, Mouse O'Dwyer, as we call him, absolutely outstanding for killing all. We'll give it a couple of minutes because hurling games tend to change. <laughs> Good stuff. So, Dara Carey as well, immense in defence today for Temple Derry, but this free is sent in and high and over the bar. A nice score there. Great score from Killian, Kira, Kieran O'Dwyer again. 114 now Seven for point game. Killing all 121 for Temple Derry. 54 on the clock. Keeper ready to go again. Tom McCutcheon. Long down the field, breaking over at the far side. Now Oren Murphy in there, battling hard for it. Killing all bursting out. Skull Ruan and Killing All. Sponsor this game on Tip FM this afternoon. It's the FBD Insurance Arena Cup final. Killing all on the attack. Joe O'Dwyer 
sends it in, but it tails off and just goes wide. Too much energy there. The and way it was a big just chance, you know, out. Still, still at least at least five minutes plus injury time. If he had scored that, it was a six-point game, and one goal would change it around. So Joe would be disappointed that that didn't uh, split the post. This one hit long down the field now, all the way up there towards the half forward now, breaking ball in there. It's uh, just spilling away from them all this time, and it goes out over the line. And uh, we're ready to go again here now. Garod moving back out the field there, Plummer, and hard working Plummer, serious player here for uh, Temple Derry this afternoon. This one about to be struck here now. Line ball going to be taken for killing all. Joe Dwyer will take this. They beat St. Mary's in uh, the semi-final. They beat Kiladangan in the quarter-final, but Temple Derry just a bridge too far for them now as uh, this ball is played out. Bubbles scatters it, and it's gone out over the line, and uh, brilliant pressure there again by uh, the Temple Derry defence by Garrod Ryan in particular, and it is going to be the full-back who will uh, cut this one out the field now. Christy Coughlin just sizing it up here. Secondary school teacher here in his 30s, playing for many years. I think he's 32. Christy playing for many years with Temple Derry. Worked so hard to win something with his parish. Will do so today, it looks like here. Going on the score at the minute here. It's flicked along the ground. Oh, Jimmy Feehan has it here. Great play there by Dale Donnelly just to nick the ball off him here. Still loose now, down on the deck. Pulling hard on it in there now. They're all letting fly. It's one back by Garold though. Back outside him here. And they go on the attack once more. Up to Shawnee Wright. Ball breaking up there. Joe DeWire does well to gather it though. And uh, it's just loose in there. It is going to be another free out this time for Joe DeWire this time, Ken. This free you'll have to count now. It's three minutes plus injury time. But this free, killing all need to manufacture something here. Getting a substitute ready. Referee is not standing for any messing. He says, wave the play on. Taken fast now. Hit down the field all the way in there near the goalie and breaking inside. Christy Coughlin in there and uh, the defence just holds firm inside and the ball is sent out. It is going to be a line ball again for killing all and a chance for them to get it right. Pitching great Nick here, the simple stadium caretaker. Podrick Green just working so hard all year to get the pitch right here this November day. This ball is just broken inside and it's wide from killing all wide another chance now for Temple Derry just to pile on another score here Substitute coming seven up on the scoreboard though could be a bit more in comes Tom Ryan now Tom Ryan bursting on the field of play here another good player Tom is an ecologist and uh, he's just going into the half forward line another player would be absolutely delighted to, yeah. to get a game here today another I think he's about 31. Yeah, and Tom Ryan coming in, well-deserved. And Matthew Hogan, super pint in the first half when Timmy Derry needed a score. So everybody's contributing here. Some wonderful displays on, on both sides. Timmy Derry, just the superior team on the day. So sent long over the far side of the field. Well took over there by Brian Stapleton. Stapleton now moves this ball on again here, just inside. And it is going to be a free out this time killing all have a chance and you know Ken like there's only seven points down you went on five minutes who knows yeah and they had a couple of chances there mouse and a, and a ball that lobbed in so a bit of dilemma about where to place the ball over at the far side of the field and it is uh, going to be that free that will be struck over there now bro players just waiting for it here sent in now in around the house dangerous one in breaking in there and uh, killing all need that goal they need it lively here Barry in there fighting for that ball. It's just kicked out along the ground. No one really getting clean possession here. Fed outside. They have a goal chance here, but uh, no. It's just been taken off the hands here of the corner forward. Kieran O'Dwyer tried to just connect with that, but out go Temple Derry. Up the field, up as far as Adrian Ryan. And Adrian Ryan, the fund accountant, just takes that ball out over the line at the far side of the field. It is going to be a line ball. And looking down there, Cormac McGrath knows their time is near. Yeah. So we're going to announce the man of the match here, Ken. The John Quirk Jewelers of Care, man of the match. Uh, what yeah, is and your uh, call? Some great displays. The Stapletons, Brian Stapleton's a huge amount. But for the overall performance and including a block down right here in front of us, absolutely outstanding display. Hurled right throughout the game. Absolutely consistent. Audrin Murphy is my man of the match. Uh, Odrin Murphy, okay, so he is the man of the match here in the Oreen Cup final. They come on the attack, they've got another score here. It's exhibition stuff from 
Templeary finishing up here. Oren Murphy is the John Quirk Jewelers in Care man of the match. The presentation will be made over the far side of the field. Stay tuned to Tip FM for the rest of the day. Ronan Quirk will be in studio between this game and uh, this game's finish and the start of the Dan Breen game, which will be thrown in at 3.15. We're on Tip FM for that one. If you're tuned on the stream, that one is on TG4. This one here is live though and it's uh, Temple Derry who are coming on the attack Adrian Ryan, Adrian Ryan all the way in and they roar all the way from Boris Ali to Nina Temple Derry loving this they're punching the air, they have another score this time, 123 to 114, ball won again green jerseys again in centre field now Cod comes in to challenge, Jimmy Feehan goes in to challenge there now, Tom Stakem for killing all, off he goes Flicks this one inside, looking for bubbles in there, but Garod is there, taking the ball off him now, and the ball is loose. It's a free out now for Temple Derry. They're working their socks off all around it here, and they're still in this game here, fighting for everything, and really, Oder and Murphy, the man of the match, Ken, he's been immense, so too Derek Carey, so too Adrian Ryan, there's some team. Adrian Garod, Tom Stapleton, and of course, Brian Stapleton, if he had been on for the full game, what an impact he on the game. And here's Garrod with a big one again. Garrod Ryan, straight between the posts at the town end in Turles. Beautiful stuff. Exhibition stuff from Temple Derry now. 124 to 114. Cruising here. 61 on the clock here in Turles. This ball flicked along the ground now. In, in front of Michael Dial. Needs a score here. Michael Dial moves it on. Joe DeWire bursting in. Joe DeWire, can they get that goal now? Trying to gather that ball. He's pushed back out the field now. They have it over here again on two. Owen O'Connell. Owen O'Connell trying to take this one now. Three green jerseys all around him though. Ball breaks out to Lee Maher. Lee Maher coming through the middle here. Lee Maher with a shot. Just over the crossbar. They have a pint. They wanted a goal, but they have a pint. So uh, it's uh, still a nine pint game. Yeah, and the thoughts at the very end, killing all. They've been gamed. They've tried to manufacture a few goal opportunities. Most of the wire flying up, but. Staunch defending there by Temple Derry. Temple Derry's defence have been strong today. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, Carey, the Stapletons, and of course, Garrod is coming with a big Garrod one. Garrod sends it in. In around the house, breaking under 21. Sean, he got it. Sean Ryan now. Turn the one way. Turn the other. One-handed flick inside. Beautiful from him. But the goalie read what was going on. And it's played back out now. Out to Adrian Ryan. Adrian turns inside and slots this one over the bar. The subs are ready to run on the field. Robert Ryan has his hands full, telling them to stay where you are till the full-time whistle. Here we go again, another one, pucked out long, down the field, killing all. It's gathered there, Barry now turning inside him here, trying to create something here. Away he goes, Owen Barry plays this ball inside. Kieran Bergen now, Kieran Bergen across here. Oh, brilliant by Dara Carey. Such a little flick away from the corner forward who ended up fresh airing it. Ah, oh, Derek Carey, what a player. He's excellent. Yeah, outstanding today, Derek Carey, and has sweeped up and again the fleet of foot to get across the square and get the flick in to prevent the goal, which would have put a respectable uh, scoreboard. But from our point of view, I think Temple Derry have been the superior team, particularly in the second half. Aircraft uh, mechanic, 24 years old, Derek Carey in there in defence. Here we go, 65, lobbed in around the house. It's gathered in there now by Coughlin. Christie bursting out again here. Secondary school teacher hits it out. It's the last act of the Orene Cup final. Temple Derry are the county champions. What a day for Temple Derry Kenyans. What a day for Garrod Ryan to lead them to glory here. Heartbroken, killing all out in the field. Shake their hand, but hats off to Temple Derry Kenyans. They are the champions of Tipperary Orene Cup winners 2021. Yeah, fantastic victory for Temple Derry. They've been trying for so long. Uh, they have been almost there so many times. It just didn't work out from beating in North semi-finals and North finals. Have been probably one of the most consistent team in North Tipperary senior hurling for a number of years. And I think they've earned their uh, place at the top table now, playing in Dan Breen hurling. They're a team that will be quite comfortable with there, but from their own point of view, wonderful display. Tremendous all-round team display, and I suppose in the first half, they're so tight, 10 points all. But uh, from Kilinaw's point of view, they have worked very hard to win a South Championship this year. Uh, Joe Mouse, the wire, put in a tremendous performance at centre back. Kilinaw, the wire, did such a great job at cornerback on Sean Ryan for such a long time. But then 
uh, the heavens open. Sean Ryan got that opportunity. And when that goal was scored, uh, Timbledary, uh, the shackles were off. They took off and like Timbledary, Kenyans would do, scored 125, which is no mean feat uh, on, a, on a November day. Tremendous victory and well-deserved for Timbledary, Kenyans. And some serious players there. Sean Ryan, like Lightning, Ken, you know, Dara Carey, Lightning at fullback or cornerback, Christy Coughlin, Garrod, Adrian, your man of the match then, Oren Murphy, like, was everywhere. Yeah, he was absolutely everywhere. And I, and I suppose why I came down to that decision was because in the first half, when Temple Derry were struggling for parity, particularly in the middle of the field, Oren came up with two unbelievable points. He's blocking down, he's hooking, and his consistent play throughout the hour uh, gave him the nod. There were some magnificent performances there, but at the end of the day, it's about the Orion Cup. It's about Garrod Ryan going up after so many years of effort and tile, accepting that trophy on behalf of the team. It's a wonderful parish effort, a wonderful team effort. Hats off to Timber Derry, an outstanding team, and they deserve uh, their day in the sun at last. And thankfully, the sun is out there as well, Stephen. Uh, and, and, a great, and a great crowd here, a good, healthy crowd here, great to see. And uh, we're looking at it out here, Ken, and like it's so great to have this championship. It's been really competitive right from the off here. We've had a lot of games on uh, Tip GAA TV, and we've had a lot of games as well um, on Tip FM. And of all the matches, like you just love to see a new team come and win a trophy, and it's like that today. Like that today, and it was absolutely brilliant uh, uh, for Temple Derry. You see the green and white. I see Anya O'Leary, a, a great, great supporter of, and the O'Leary family, great supporter of Temple Derry hurling all their lives. But uh, go out there and hug her and embrace her brother after winning uh, a long cherished medal. Tremendous display. Temple Derry, well deserved winners, and a huge following from both parishes. Killinall, I met people from Killinall coming in. And it's so healthy to see so many people with such great pride in their people and their team. And uh, Temple Derry represented their people with pride today. Magnificent performance, but Brian Stapleton, when he did come in at halftime, this guy has played at inter-county senior level, uh, minor under 21 level. He showed his touch at class, three great points in the middle of the field. And I think he swung the game for Temple Derry in that second half. So, uh, Sean Ryan over there, and uh, he was taught by, believe it or not, Brendan Maher, Tipperary. Uh, hurling superstar in fifth and sixth class. You can see where they get the love of hurling, really. Ah, uh, sure, of course to do. And uh, like uh, every team deserves a day in the sun. You mentioned mine, Timber too. He yesterday, wonderful victory in the intermediate final. Uh, what it'll do for that parish? Kill Keelan, Kill Sheelan, Kill Cash. You know, great effort on their behalf. Uh, they put in a magnificent effort. You know, it's cruel to go down by one point. They'll return again, but. And, of course, Killing All, you know, a great dual club, by the way, Killing All, playing football at senior level, playing hurling at senior level, South Senior Hurling Champions, and, you know, they will come back again. They're a very proud club and have a huge, uh, again, I suppose, what you'd call passion for the game, because uh, only one team can win, Stephen. And today is Temple Derry's day. So we're just seeing the presentation here now, right across from us. Garod Ryan in place, and uh, he'll be lining up for this one here now. And just such a moment when you get the cup like that and cruise in the last three, four minutes of the game. What a buzz over there, the far side. So uh, I'm not sure if we're tying in with the audio over there, but uh, we'll just watch it from here, from afar. And... Uh, Garrod in position over there, the far side, and FPD Insurance there as well. And all the Tipperary players just sitting down underneath there. And we see uh, Dennis Kelly, who's often on the stream with us here, over the far side of the field. And uh, he's just over there with uh, his wife, Julie. And they're, uh, they're sitting uh, just underneath the Tipperary players. So Dennis is enjoying it from that side today rather than up here Ken. Yeah it's amazing how things can work out you know but um, he he loved this and uh, you know all the different people in Temple Derry throughout you know Ger Ryan in Temple Derry all the guys that have been involved in the club building the club up but uh, the unsung heroes the, the officers of the club you mentioned Cora chairman secretary Temple Derry done a magnificent job in their pitch there as well they have a beautiful uh, uh, pitch and and facilities there ball wall and it has paid dividends today, you know. And every club should be complimented in, in the way they turn out their pitches, 
their clubs and we, we're very thankful to the people that take on those owners tests officers of the club so well done to everybody and uh, a super day for for Templeberry. okay so he's about to accept the cup over the far side of the field and uh we are uh, just about to wrap up here. We're seeing the crowd coming in here, Ken. They're allowing the crowd to come over here. The Sarsfields crowd are all working it in underneath us here. There's a huge crowd, bigger than expected today. Bigger than expected, and I suppose, yeah, absolutely amazing. That November sun is causing problems over in the arena stand, that November sun. So a lot of people coming over to get a better view of the game. So uh, great to see the crowd spilling into the, to, into the, into the match. And Garod Ryan gets the cup over the far side of the field. And we're just going to sign off now, take a quick break on Tip FM. So uh, we'll be back soon with more from Torless. And we're staying live here on Tip GAA TV to see this speech and see can we pick up some of Gar's words over the far side.